I'm Amber Kelly from Cook with Amber, and I love stir fries. Not only do they take a few minutes to cook, the textures are amazing, they've got phenomenal flavor, and a super great caramelization. That's why I'm so excited, because today I'm gonna show you how I make my beef and stir fried vegetables. So simple, so delicious. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing we gotta do is marinate our steak, and this marinade only has four ingredients. Some soy sauce, some sesame oil, cornstarch, and a little bit of black pepper. Now I'm gonna give it a good whisk and make sure that there are no clumps with the cornstarch. Perfect, now I'm gonna add in my flank steak, which I've cut into small bite-sized pieces. And by marinating the steak when it's already pre-cut, there are more crevices for the marinade to soak into the meat and it cooks so much quicker. I'm gonna throw my steak right in here. Now I'm just gonna get in there with my hands and make sure that every single bit of that steak is coated in that delicious marinade. Next up is the sauce, and this is where that flavor comes from. It's super delicious, it's only five ingredients. And watch this, I'm gonna show you a super fun hack. I'm gonna dump all of my ingredients right into my mason jar, just like this. We've got some soy sauce, some sesame oil, beef broth, then we've got oyster sauce, and last but not least, a little bit of cornstarch. Now all you have to do to make the sauce is screw on the mason jar lid and shake it. And that's it. That's how you make the sauce. By shaking it in the mason jar, you get rid of all those cornstarch clumps. And now it's perfectly ready to dump into our wok when we actually put the stir fry all together. I already blanched my vegetables. All I did was cut up my carrots and broccoli into bite-sized pieces and then I added them into some boiling water. The broccoli took about 15 seconds to cook, the carrots about two minutes, and you don't want them to be super mushy. You just want them to have a little bit of a bite left and for them to turn a really bright, vibrant green and orange. The first thing though, of course, we gotta cook that steak. So I'm gonna take some grapeseed oil, put a little bit in my wok, like that, and I'm gonna turn it on medium-high heat and let that oil heat up. What's super great about the natural gas stove is it's gonna heat up my oil really quickly so I don't have to wait that long. A key to using a wok is one you wanna make sure it's oiled really well like I'm doing. You're gonna just swirl it around to make sure the oil coats everything. And you wanna make sure it's hot enough. Stir fries are all about really, really quick cooking on really high heat, which is why we cook our vegetables ahead of time so all that they're doing really is getting a little bit caramelized and soaking up that sauce. If you don't have a wok though, you can still just use a regular pan and it cooks it great. So I'm gonna take my tongs and I'm gonna put my steak in. Now, I don't recommend just dumping the whole thing in because then the beef is gonna be like stacked on top of each other and you wanna get that caramelization. So here we go, listen for the sound. Love that. I'm gonna give it one last mix just to make sure that everything has been cooked. And when we put the cornstarch in the marinade, you can see it's adding a little bit of a coating onto the beef. So when we add in our sauce, that's gonna help thicken it as well. All right, this is when it gets quick. The beef is cooked. I peeled and grated some ginger, so I'm gonna add that right in and give it another mix. Now, add in my vegetables and my sauce and really, really make sure you stir so that every bit of the vegetables gets coated in that sauce. So broccoli, right in. Look at the color. Carrots, give your sauce one last shake and throw it right in here. And give it one last thorough mix. Top it with some scallions to finish it off. And that is how you make my stir-fried beef and vegetables. Enjoy!